Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this is a continuation, kind of, of the last one I did. So I got a bunch of, well not a bunch, I got two decks in today that showed up in the mail. One I was expecting, one I was not expecting. So this one I was not expecting. Um, I actually forgot that I even got this. So this was um, an auction that I had won on eBay. And I wasn't really sure about this deck. But I wanted to check it out because it looked kind of cool. And that is the Tarot Nuage. So like I said, I entered into like this like auction thing and I ended up winning. And I got this for an amazing price. And I figured, you know what, if I don't like it, I'll just move it on. Uh, if I do like it, it can become part of my collection. It's kind of like Creepy Clown. So this, I can see this like bugging some people if you're not into like the, the whole clown looking thing. I don't know what these are supposed to be. Like what kind of creatures these are supposed to be. Oh, it is a U.S. Games deck. Okay. But, like, the first card right off the get-go is, like, a creepy clown. So, if you're not into creepy clowns, this will not probably be for you. Very strange. I don't know what these are supposed to be, these little figures. This is more like a, like, freaky, creepy circus vibe, or if these are, like little um like gremlins of some sort or something i don't even know all right so let's take a look at it i've never even really seen this deck i've never even really spent any time with it but your normal us game card stock it's actually really nice um a little bit of gloss but not much so a little bit more of a matte card yep creepy creepy clown all right it very much gives me like the like gremlin alienists, like maybe even aliens. Oh, maybe they're supposed to be like alien. Like, does it say it's a Marseille style with some antique elements? Okay, so it is Playful Spirit with Goblins, Penguins, Pixies, Gargoyles, and Animated Mushrooms are in the Minors. The Majors are the Pantheon of Demigods, High-Powered Personalities that will lead readers through. Okay, so that is a really strange combination of things. So I'm going to say like kind of its own world, right? Does it say like if they are specific? Okay, so they are there. Like this little world's demigods. Okay. So this is like the whole, a whole little world that she's created here. Okay. Good to know. Because I'm looking at this and I'm like, who is this? Like what demigod is this? But it's so it's their little demigods. Okay, well, that makes sense then. Um, strange little deck. I don't know how I feel about it. And I'm sure there's like a million flip throughs and reviews and everything on this. So if I'm going too fast, you'll have to maybe find one that's a little slower. I'm going to be, it's going to, I'm going to be really interested on how this reads. Like if this is going to be like, it kind of gives me a sassy energy. Like that's what I'm kind of like picking up on it. It's weird. Everybody's like 
got like a wrinkled look. Man, that is a tower card. Okay, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm being really quiet because I'm just trying to like get like a read on it or like an energy from it or just what the heck is going on here. It said it was Marseille. Sorry, that's a fine picture. Like, I'm getting what they're standing for. Like, I'm understanding the concept and the cards are a little bit of, like, um, they're pippish, but, like, a little bit more than just a pip, right? There's a little bit of um, illustration happening in it. It's a cool card. Hopefully all the knights are like this. I think they are. That's pretty neat. Queen of Wands, but she doesn't have a cat. But maybe cats don't exist in this world. I don't really know. Um, Strange. Strange, strange, strange. Like I said, I'll have to see. And then we're in penguins. Okay, this is really weird. This is a strange one. I'm going to be really interested to see how this reads. Fly penguins. Is she saying here why she picked penguins? Like if there's something specific to that. Sorry, that was my phone going off. So she doesn't say why she picked penguins. We're just, we're picking penguins. All right. Like, I'm okay with strange if it makes sense. But, like, this is kind of weird. It doesn't make sense. But I also have to get into the book. Like, maybe there's a write-up in it that explains, like, this world and why there's penguins and, you know, different things of such. Oh, cool. The knights are going to be all like that. That's a really cool. It's too bad they didn't do all of the court cards like that. Okay, so these are the gargoyles. Okay, like my mind is still stuck on penguins. Like I'm still trying to figure out like why we have penguins. This is strange, strange one. But I really like the knights. I think this is really cool how she does like the close up. And like the queens so far have been pretty neat other than the queen of wands is missing its cat. But... That's okay. That um, is probably more of a rider weight than a Marseille. 
your typical two coins. It's very Marseille style. So these are mushroom people. <laughs> this is such a messed up deck. <laughs> like in good ways. <laughs> like not... <laughs> Oh, it just wasn't what I was expecting. Oh, this is hilarious. It's it's so weird. I like weird decks though. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not bashing it. Um, it's it's crazy cool. Like, it's so out there. It's right off the wall, right? Like, it's really cool. Like little mushroom people. Yeah, once again, I really like the night cards. The queens have all been really cool. The kings are they're pretty cool. And what do we got here? The town. Ah. All right. So weird. All right, I got to see. So they are based on the early 16th century Western Europe. The town was placed between the world and other friends and blah, 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 the town of Dimash. I'm just scanning it really fast. Okay, this is definitely um, taken off of the Marseille, which was very obvious. All right, this is what she's got here. Through the ages, the odd creatures have found their place in the tarot, becoming minions for different suits. The wand suit connects with the fire element. It is followed by the eager goblins and spirits of the fire, called imps. The chalices whose element is water attracts penguins. Creatures of the ocean and ice and, tend and tender fairy pixies. The suit of swords and the air element is illustrated by grim, ponderous creatures that inhabit the upper floors and rooftops of Nuage. These are warlike and enduring gargoyles. And the coins, referring to the earth element and productivity, become associated with mushrooms and bees. So she's got like this, it's just like a whole little world that's happening here and it's just what she's put into it. It is very, very strange. Some images in the Rider Waite, uh, Rider Waite deck perfectly capture the essence of the meaning, so they were taken as the source of my interpretation. That's what I was going to say. Some of them looked Rider Waite. Um, so it's like a Rider Waite Marseille combination. All right. So it's just like its own little world. She's created her own little strange world with this deck. It's it's cool. Like I I'm really interested to see how it reads though. Like, I don't know, it's kind of I love US games card stock smell. Um, it's giving me kind of sassy vibes to tell you the truth. Okay. Or not. Wow. My hands are really bad today, guys. They're not cooperating today. Let's see if I can get them to work. Okay. So they're a little long. Like they're kind of hard for, like I have to really stretch my hands to get over them. And that's what I do. I'll just break them up into smaller amounts, like smaller piles, if I'm having a hard time with my hands. There we go. Let's see what it has to say. 
Ten of Coins. Uh, ten of Coins form the roof and the foundation of the home where a family of mushrooms live. Under their coin roof, they are safe and secure and very happy about it. Meaning home, family, lineage, values, traditions passed through, generations, prosperity, security, reverse, home troubles, bad inheritance, social position lost, money losses. Oh, and then she's got the, uh, oh no, I just noticed something. Oh, and then she's got like the court cards and then she talks about members of the noble family. So she's got like the family names for them and everything. Really interesting. Okay. Does she have that? I just got to have that all of them in. Court cards, member of the noble family. Okay, so all the court cards are like she has the names of the family. Wow, she's created quite a little world for these characters. That's interesting. I just want to see how it reads, though. Like, I want to see. I'm just gonna ask how my day is gonna go. I'll watch it be disastrous. Okay, let's see how my day is gonna go. Oh, interesting. So we already got chalices, chalices, chalices. So obviously having a lot of emotions today. I feel like tons of emotions. You know what? I actually kind of really like the way that it reads. Um, it reads very Marseille, like in my opinion. I I like it. They look good, like all out together. And quite a neat um, color palette. Like really like earthy tones. Hmm, interesting little deck. I'll have to... Uh, Spend some time with it and see what she has to say. Cool. All right. So that is Tarot Nuage. I'm from US Games. Cool little deck. Strange little deck. But I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. It's very interesting. All right. So... Let me know what your experiences are with it. If anyone out there has this, I'm sure I'm sure people have this deck. It's probably a pretty popular deck. Um, let me know what your experiences have been with it. How does it read for you? Is it sassy? Is it is it more um, like what? It, I don't know if it's kind of more like a Barbara Walker, where it's in your face and it's kind of straightforward and 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 kind of like to the point and almost on like a like on a nasty side, or if it's sassy. This um. This fool card's kind of creepy. I'm not, like, I don't have a problem with clowns, but, like, I can see this deterring a lot of people from getting to know this deck. Um, because there's a lot of people out there that find uh, clowns creepy, right? So, yeah. So in the comments, let me know what your experience has been with this deck, if you own it. Um, if you like it, if you enjoy its readings. Uh, I find it, it kind of almost gave me a labyrinth kind of feel, like the movie Labyrinth. And I do have the Labyrinth deck, and it kind of has almost a similar feeling to that in a way. Um, it reads very Marseille for me. It, I, it wasn't as sassy as I thought it was going to be, but I also haven't really spent time working with it. So that was just one little tiny spread, right? Sometimes, you know, but usually if they're sassy, it gives it to you like right away like it's just the way that it is right so i don't know interesting interesting little deck i'm glad i uh won the auction and i'll get to spend some time with it it's a little weird world which nuage in french means clouds and that would make sense because a lot of the images 
they're walking on like clouds, like up in the clouds, right? So that kind of makes sense. Oh, and it says right here on the back, far away town, Nuez in the land of clouds. So that makes sense. Oh, this is a strange little deck, but I like it. It's very, very neat. All right. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this short little video, um, this first impression of Tarot Nuage. Uh, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.